Welcome back, everybody. We hope you are having a memorable start to an important day. Today is Juneteenth, the day the last enslaved African Americans in the United States learned of their emancipations. Celebrations happening all around the Bay today, and we are there. We're your community station. Sean Chitness is live, where young people today will learn a lot about our history at the San Jose Children's Museum. Good morning, Sean. Hey, Reed, good morning. That's right, we are here at the Children's Discovery Museum of San Jose, where they do have an exciting event planned. They are partnering with the Silicon Valley African Film Festival, and some of the activities that they are going to allow families to enjoy today, getting to go to a drum workshop, in addition to showing some of those films that are part of the festival, and then also making their own instruments just like this. So it should be a fun day here at the museum, but we also want to highlight some of the other activities that are happening around the Bay Area, including a Juneteenth cookout that will be in Oakland. A day to celebrate freedom for all and honor a tradition rooted in the black community. Hella Juneteenth strives to once again do both this year. This is the most American of holidays. This is us actualizing uh, what we stand for as a country. Ryan Royster is one of the organizers for the event and says it's special to see a day long celebrated in the South, now a national celebration. The event is rooted in the campaign to get Juneteenth recognized as a holiday. Creatives in Oakland work to get more than 800 corporations to give their workers the day off back in 2020. This is, you know, our Independence Day and it needs to be celebrated. People need to know about it and all are welcome at this festival. We want everybody to come and enjoy. For the first time ever, there will be a Juneteenth event at the Oakland Museum of California. Chefs like Michelle McQueen will each contribute a dish to make a shared plate for guests. We take pride in our food. We take pride in coming together at picnics and it being a potluck and everyone contributing to the nourishment of all of your guests. Art and music will also be a part of the celebration, including special pieces to commemorate this growing tradition in the East Bay. It's really beautiful to see like when we all come together, there's magic. And today, magic will be happening at the Oakland Museum in the garden. Leaning on a pillar of the community to create memories for all on America's newest holiday. We hang our hat so much on freedom, and this is a true depiction of freedom. So that's a great tradition that they are building there in Oakland. They are sold out, but there may be an opportunity to show up and see if they can let folks in on a walk-up basis. But back here in San Jose, we're having fun with the drums. Great way to wake up, and we want to let folks know that there are still plenty of tickets available here. You can buy those tickets online or just show up to the museum. They will be here starting at 9.30. Reed and Gianna, back to you. Children's Discovery Museum of San Jose, we thank you, all of you who serve our children day in and day out. And Sean, great job. Hey, to mark the day, government services like the Postal Service, the Federal Reserve, City Halls, and divisions of motor vehicles will be closed for the holiday. However, just know public transportation remain open and on schedule.